in the world of finance and investment, gold has long been revered as a symbol of wealth and a hedge against economic uncertainty. Recent activities by central banks around county engineering state exam the globe underscore the precious metals enduring appeal and strategic importance. Krishan Gopal, a senior research analyst at the World Gold Council, provides invaluable insight from his extensive background in investment and market data analysis. The World Gold Council's mission, established in 1987 and headquartered in London, the World Gold Council serves as a market development organization for the gold industry. Its mission is to uh, stimulate and sustain demand for gold across various sectors, including investment, jewelry, and technology. Through research and promotion, the WGC advocates for gold as an essential asset class, offering insights into its multifaceted roles in the global economy. Uh, central bank's bullish stance on gold. Uh, recent data highlights uh, a significant trend. Uh, central banks are increasingly turning to gold, bolstering their reserves as a strategic move to diversify assets and strengthen financial security. That central bank gold buying maintained a breakneck pace in 2023. Which half central banks were buying and why? Senior analyst Christian Gopal and senior markets. We can offer someone uh, like content or uh, accepted by Happy Match for them a world with spot life. Uh, notably, the People's Bank of China has been on a gold buying spree with its official gold reserves rising by 10 tons in January alone, uh, marking the 15th consecutive month of additions. This brings China's total gold holdings to a staggering 2,245 tons, nearly 300 tons higher than at the end of October 2022. Uh, and newly uh, published data from the People's Bank of China shows its official hashtag gold reserves rose by 10 tons in January. The 15th consecutive month, it is added to its gold reserves. Total gold holdings now stand at 2,245.10, nearly 310 higher than at the end of October 2022. Um, however, it's not just China that's bullish on gold. Uh, the Central Bank of Iraq, uh, buoyed by higher oil prices, is also expanding its gold reserves. Uh, a recent purchase of nearly 2.3 tons of bullion at an average price of $2,037 per ounce has brought Iraq's total holdings to 145 tons. Uh, plans are underway for further acquisitions in 2024, aiming to reach a record level of gold reserves. A report from Bloomberg states that the Central Bank of Iraq is continuing to or, uh, add hashtag gold to its international reserves supported by higher oil prices and plans to add more in 2024. Uh, the similarly, uh, the Central Bank of Turkey and the Reserve Bank of India have been active buyers. Uh, Turkey's official gold reserves uh, rose by almost 12 tons in January. Uh, bringing the total to 552 tons, uh, just shy of the all-time high of 587 tons. Uh, meanwhile, India added nearly nine tons to its reserves in the same month, the first monthly addition since October, with total reserves now at 812 tons. In latest data from the Central Bank of Turkey shows that official hashtag gold reserves uh, rose by almost 12 tons in January. Total gold holdings are now 552 tons, just 6% off the all-time high of 587 tons back in February 2023. Uh, in the sky of the old fighting focus on what, a, what it took to government should in terms in the very bag uh, back in the middle what we've run in when we had to cut more than one country uh, than represent in the addition since October. Um, gold reserves now stand at 812 tons. Uh, contrasting fortunes, ETFs versus central banks. While central banks are bolstering their gold reserves, gold exchange traded funds have faced challenges. January saw global net outflows totaling 2.8 billion, approximately 51 tons from gold ETFs marking the eighth consecutive month of outflows. 
This resulted in a total assets under management decline to $210 billion, a 2% decrease month over month. Another tough month for hashtag gold ETFs in January. Global net print flows totaled $2.8 billion in the month, marking the eighth consecutive month of outflows. As a result, total AUM fell to $210 billion U.S. dollars, minus 2% minus per million. And see the latest commentary data here. And Peter Schiff weighs in on gold's record streak amid investor skepticism. On February 10th, 2024, amidst a remarkable period for the gold market, Peter Schiff shed light on intriguing contrast between gold's valuation and investor sentiment. Uh, gold had just extended its record streak to 41 consecutive trading days with the spot price steadfastly above $2,000. Uh, um, however, despite this historic performance, uh, Schiff noted a, a palpable weakness in investor sentiment as evidenced by a nearly 4% decline in mining stocks over the preceding week uh, by February 13, with the market having been open for another trading day since Schiff's observation. The streak has impressively reached 42 days, further solidifying gold's strong market position. Um, and gold extended its streak to a record 41 consecutive trading days where the spot price held above $2,000. That exceeds the prior total number of days hashtag gold ever traded above $2,000. Yet investor sentiment remains extremely weak, with mining stocks falling nearly 4% on the week.